In these problems, we're talking about another type of transformation called a dilation. And dilations can be a little bit tricky, but the basic idea is that you're blowing up or magnifying or maybe shrinking, um, they can go both ways, some point or some shape with respect to some particular center. So let me just show you quickly what I mean here. Let's say I have the point uh, 2, 1. And I want to dilate that, blow it up. I have to blow it up by some amount, some degree. That is called the scale factor. So let's say my scale factor equals 2 on this one. And my center is of dilation is 0, 0. That means that on this line that goes through 2, 1, I'm going to be expanding out by a factor of 2. So basically, I'm going to be doubling the coordinates here. When my center is 0, 0, it's a pretty easy thing. All you do is take the scale factor and multiply it by the coordinates to get the new coordinates. So 2, 1 becomes 2 times 2, that's 4. And 2 times 1 is 2, 4, 2. And you'll see it's on that same line. If I had not just a point, but a line, let's say it was a line uh, with um, points 2, 1, and 2, 3, well, this point would get uh, expanded um, based on this uh, uh, same center, 2. So instead of 2, 3, it would be 4, 6, which would maybe be up here. So I'd get, you know, here's my first line, and here's my second line. It's been increased by um, a size of 2 away from that and projected away from that center. You could sort of think about this as like um, how shadows get bigger the farther you are away from a light source. Now you can go the opposite way too. If you said your scale factor was one half, well then you multiply these guys by one half and I would get the point one comma one half which would be right in there. So that's the basic idea behind dilations. Let's take a look at some of these problems. The first one says the dashed triangle is the image of the solid triangle. What that means is that you started with the solid triangle and then you do a dilation and you get the dashed triangle. So the first thing I notice here is that it's getting smaller. What that means is that our scale factor is going to be less than one. It's going to be greater than zero, so it's going to be some fraction. Scale factors are, aren't negative. That doesn't happen with dilations. But if a scale factor is greater than one, then something's getting bigger. If they're less than one, then something's getting smaller. So this might be one half, it might be two thirds, something like that. It says um, this is under a dilation with center zero, zero. That's good, so I don't really have to worry uh, about anything extra with that when the center is zero, zero. What is the scale factor? Well, how are we going to figure this out? What I would suggest doing is if you have a, a figure like a triangle, is just pick a point and a corresponding point on both the what you started with and then the image. And I think I'll just pick this point and this point right here. This point is, let's see, 4, 4. Oh, that's easy. And this point that corresponds to that point on the original is 2, 2. So the question is, what do you multiply 4, 4 by to get 2, 2? Well, you can see it's one half, four, two is half of four. So the scale factor is actually one half on that one. And that's what they were asking for. So that's your, your answer. Let's look at uh, a different one. This one says find the scale factor for the dilation. And there's a little bit of notation here that you should be familiar with. We've got two squares, looks like squares. The, the bigger one, A, B, C, D, and then the next one, the smaller one, is A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. When you see this A prime business, that means that's the image that was created. So you start out here with the big one, and you go to a smaller one. Well, right away, if you're looking for the scale factor, you should know that the scale factor then is going to be a, a fraction, somewhere between 1 and 0. And that will help us um, figure this out. Look at A. It says scale factor of 2. Well, you know, that's not it. Because if it was 2, that's greater than 1. This, this original square would be getting bigger, but it's getting smaller. So it's not 2. B says negative 2 thirds. Well, scale factors aren't negative. That doesn't work for us. C says 2 thirds. And I guess this could be 2 thirds. That's a fraction that's between 0 and 1. I don't know. I don't have any way of testing. There, there aren't any coordinates here. So let's just hold off on C. 
D says three halves. That's a fraction, but it's not smaller than one. That's actually one and a half. So that doesn't work either, and I'm, by process of elimination, I'm left with two-thirds. And when I look at this, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime does seem to be about two-thirds the size of our original square here, so it looks like it makes sense. All right, let's try one more, and this is um, one of the harder ones. You can also have a dilation where the center is not zero, zero, and then you have to do one extra step of calculating. So uh, this one says find the image of 29, negative 12, so that's a point. We've just got one point to deal with, not like a whole triangle or something, so that's good. Find the image of that point for a dilation with center 2, negative 3, and a scale factor of 2 thirds. So we're going to be multiplying something by 2 thirds to get our new coordinate, but it gets complicated because our center is not 0, 0. So I've got some graph paper here. Let me um, draw in some axes. And what I notice is that my point is in the fourth quadrant. I've got a positive x value and a negative y value. My center is also in the fourth quadrant, so I'm just going to leave off a lot of other stuff. There's my, here's my x-axis. Here's my y-axis, and um, let's see, uh, boy, that's pretty far out there, 29, so I better go by twos here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, so 29 would be here, and then it's negative 12, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, so there is 29, negative 12. Okay, and now I'm going to put in my center of dilation. It says 2, negative 3. So here's 2 and negative 3. So there's my center, 2, negative 3. Now, my scale factor is 2 thirds. If my center was 0, 0, I would simply multiply these two by 2 thirds, and that would be my new point. Um, I, because it's 2 thirds, that's less than 1. I know it's going to be somewhere along this line between the center it's going to be somewhere in there, about two-thirds of the way, but I don't think I'm going to be able to just eyeball this one and get the right answer. What I need to do is kind of pretend that this point is zero, zero. So let's just call this one zero, zero for right now. And the next thing I need to determine is what would these coordinates be if this point was zero, zero? Well, you could count. You could figure out how far this is away uh, on the x and on the y, or it amounts to the same thing. You could just subtract this point these coordinates from these coordinates. So that would be 29 minus 2, that would be 27, and negative 12 minus a negative 3, that's like plus negative 3, or sorry, plus 3, so that would be negative 9. Now if you were, you were to count, this would be on that y, this would be 1, 3, 5, 9, yup. That goes right, and you could find it's 27 away. So this is the coordinates, uh, uh, these are the coordinates of this point relative to our center, okay, 27, negative 9. And now we can multiply this by our scale factor, and what you notice is they, the, whoever wrote the problem, they kind of made the math easy for us. It's a lot easier to multiply 27 neg and negative 9 by 2 thirds than it is 29 and negative 12. But let's go ahead and try that. Um, when I'm multiplying by 2 thirds, I multiply by 2, I divide by 3. The 27, I'm going to divide by 3 first, that gives me 9. Then I multiply by 2, that gives me 18. And then my negative 9, I divide by 3 first, I get negative 3. Multiply by 2, I get negative 6. So that's our new point relative to our center. If I want to put that in regular coordinate notation, I have to add back in the, those coordinates. I subtracted them from this uh, to get this, now I'm going to add them back in. So 18 plus 2 is 20, and uh, negative 3 plus negative 6 is negative 9. So we can go out to 20, negative 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 9. Oh, look at that. It's right on that line. So that 20, negative 9 is the point 29, negative 12 uh, under a dilation with a center uh, 2, negative 3 and a scale factor of 2 thirds. So that's about as tricky as it gets with the dilation problems.